In this tutorial, we're going to explore how to customize and share your WebMix in Symbaloo. Whether you're using Symbaloo for personal, educational, or professional purposes, these features will help you create a WebMix that's both functional and visually appealing. To find any WebMix customization options, start by clicking this Edit WebMix button above the WebMix grid. A sidebar menu should appear here. The top section includes tile editing and customization options, which are covered in another video. For WebMix customization, we'll start here with the Edit WebMix tab option. This feature allows you to personalize the tab that appears at the top of your Symbaloo page. You can use it to change the WebMix name, the tab color, or the tab icon. Any changes made should be automatically saved for you. Next, we'll look at the option to set background. Personalizing your WebMix background can make it more engaging or thematic. The first toggle option at the top changes the WebMix transparency. Essentially, this adds a shadowed background to the WebMix grid area, making tiles easier to see on some backgrounds. The next toggle option below, and a much less subtle change, unlocks the ability to set a custom background. Once selected, you can choose from over 40 preloaded backgrounds or use these tabs here to upload your own image, or choose a flat color. If you choose to upload your own image, you will just need to make sure the file isn't too large. The platform currently accepts files smaller than one megabyte. For this example, I'll choose one of these pre-made backgrounds and we can move on. For the next customization, let's change the WebMix size here. A crucial step if you need more space in your grid for resources. After selecting the appropriate option, the resizer should be easy to use. Simply add or remove rows or columns from your WebMix with these plus and minus buttons. Keep in mind though, you won't be able to remove any rows or columns that still have tiles in them. You'll have to move or delete the tiles first. The last customization feature to cover is simple, but it can completely transform the feel of your WebMix, and that's the WebMix style option. Once selected, you can choose from three options, default, circles, or rectangles. Choosing an option will change the shape of all tiles within your WebMix. I'm a big fan of the circles design myself. Use these options to make any WebMix your own. With so many choices, no two WebMixes have to look the same. After you've built something you're proud of, you may want to share it, which is the final topic of this video. To begin sharing your WebMix, click this Share button above your WebMix grid. After a quick load, a share link will be created and the button above your WebMix will change to Share option. These new options make it super easy to copy a link, post to social platforms, or share in the Symbaloo library, which is a publicly available WebMix library for all users. Unless you click this blue Share and Library button, your WebMix will only be accessible through a private link, much like a Google Doc. Lastly, you may also choose to disable sharing at any time by clicking the Stop Sharing button here at the bottom of the Share options. With these features, you're now equipped to build beautiful and effective web mixes for yourself and anyone you want to share resources with. Dive in, experiment, and see how they can enhance your Symbaloo experience today. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to visit us at Symbaloo.com.